Hi everyone. I'm bringing you a local housing market report. I'm going to look at both the Pasadena market and the larger surrounding market um, in cities around Pasadena together with you today. And let's go to our first slide here. This is showing Pasadena's market going all the way back to 2008. Uh, you can see on the left hand side the little peak that we saw there, which went, the prices went up to $655,000 median price in Pasadena for a single family home. And you can see it fell pretty sharply between May of 2022 and February of 2009. The prices dropped 40%. So the bottom of the market was median prices were $400 thousand and one of the interesting things this chart shows is you can see these little fluctuations pretty much every year prices go up and down to the right of the screen you can see we had a peak in May of 2022 where prices the median price was just slightly under 1,276,000 and they have since fallen at the end down here where it drops off Right now, median prices are $1,055,000. So folks who are thinking, you know, I'm waiting for the market to drop, could they keep going down, you know, by another 20%? That's possible. Um, there are a couple of reasons why I don't personally think that that is what's going to happen. I think that we're going to see this kind of fluctuation where it starts inching back up into the summer season and I'll explain why. Here you can see on this screen this is Pasadena Foothills area from 2017 to current and see these fluctuations market prices in our markets and this is typical in many many markets most markets prices go down every winter Part of the reason why we see median prices going down every winter is because um, a lot of families who have larger homes, maybe they have three to five bedrooms instead of one to two bedrooms, uh, are more interested in selling in the summer. So in the summer, we see not only more homes on the market, we also see sometimes larger homes on the market um, that doesn't mean that right now you can't find a home for a family if you're looking for a family home. Uh, there are homes, you know, year round. It does usually seem like people who are moving in the winter are, um, who are selling in the winter are, are motivated sellers. Maybe they have a relocation and they have to sell right now. Um, you know, you can buy and sell any time of the year. Houses sell year round. And if you're waiting for a dip or if you've been waiting for a dip this winter maybe could be a good opportunity for you before that um, typical me peak that we see in uh, May and June come come through and and kind of rage back again that is a possible scenario that prices are down right now but are going to go back up again so let's take a look at here we have this is just more recent, uh, 2021 to current uh, through, through the end of 2022. You can see that spike there. May of 2022 was a peak. And right now we are down in a dip. Um, will it keep going down? Will it start inching up? There is no crystal ball. My real advice to folks who are thinking about buying a home is really don't time the market because when you go back and you look at that first chart, what did we notice is over time home prices do go up. And if you're renting right now um, and you can get together enough money for a down payment, usually people have in their mind that they need 20%, but actually there's a lot of programs for first time home buyers you might be able to get a mortgage with 3.5%. Um, and there are also currently some new 
incentive programs from California where there can be some down payment assistance with some forgivable loans. So definitely, if you have been thinking about getting into the market, the first step really is speaking with a lender. And I have lenders I can refer you to who can just have a phone conversation with you, talk about what your income is, what your credit card scores are, if you know them, or if you just know I have good credit, I have bad credit, whatever. Um, they can have conversations with you and they don't have to pull your credit. There's no cost. You don't have to fill out a bunch of paperwork. You can just have a simple phone call that can help you identify not only what budget house you can afford, you know, can you afford 500,000? Can you afford 750,000? Can you afford a million? Can you afford 1.5 million? You know, whatever is the number that you can afford, um, they can talk to you about that number and they can tell you, look, if you buy a house right now at this current interest rate, this is around what your monthly payment is going to be. You can then compare that to what you pay right now in rent. Um, and keep in mind, being a homeowner, you have a lot of benefits. There's a lot of tax benefits. Not only are you building your net worth and putting equity into your own home every month instead of into your landlord's home, uh, you have some tax deductions you can take on mortgage interest. And you also have a much more stable housing situation. You know, even with rent control, there are still ways that landlords um, can, you know, say that, let's say they're, they have a family member that wants to move into a home or something like that. Um, you know, that is always a factor. Rents can go up. You can be, you know, turned out of your home and be forced into a situation of having to find a new home versus when you have your own home, you have a very different scenario and you're building your own family's net worth. So here we are. What I recommend that you do, of course, is use my calendar, book a call, or we could do a Zoom meeting or we could have coffee. Uh, check out my calendar scan the QR code. We can talk about real estate scenarios together and I can help give you some referrals to lenders if you don't have any. You could also just go into your current bank that you have a relationship with and speak to somebody there. There are a lot of ways to get onto the path of homeownership and I am a huge advocate of taking a look at that. What does that look like for you? And how can I help you? What markets should we look at together? Have a good day. Thanks for checking out my video.